I hope you burn in hell. I hope you, you burn in hell, and I hope your kids get bone cancer. Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I'm I'm here to do one thing. One one thing. We're going to end the elite laws. Okay, we're going to end it. Not badly. We're just going to make sure that people know that what's really going on. We're going to do some truth, right? We're going to do some truth. I know you're not used to the truth if you're coming from Chili's channel, because all of Chili's saying to you is a lie. All of it. Every single bit of it. You might not think that, but let's talk about it for a moment. Give me a chance. Give me a chance before you get on here and be like, oh, he's so great. He's amazing. He's a, he's a scholar. Number one, he's not a scholar and he's not amazing. And by the way, this is all my opinion. I can't prove these things. I, I can't prove these things at all. I, I really can't. But anyways, anyways. We're going to end Chile de Castro's elite laws. We're going to end that. Okay, you guys see the inflated number of subscribers he has. That's all paid for. It's all paid for. He might have some legitimate subscribers, but it's all paid for. Now, if you think that's not the case, I would like for him to prove it. Show the receipts. If he's not buying his subscribers, show me the receipts. If you want to say I'm doing slander or... Uh, defaming you? Prove it, motherfucker. Go ahead and prove it. Show that you're not doing it. You won't do it. You won't do it. You won't do it. You'll actually try to get your fucking cult to come in and protect you. But you won't do it. You won't show papers. You won't show receipts. You won't show where that money's going to. You know this. A lot of it is coming from buying it. And I proved that the other night when I was showing you guys on stream how easy it is to buy subscribers. Now, if you don't believe me, just take a look at ratios. How does somebody with 214,000 subscribers only muster up 100-some people watching his streams? How? how? How is that? How does somebody with 214,000 subscribers make a video, only get 100 likes and maybe 60 comments? For some channels that are supposed to be growing at a magnificent rate, you would expect there to be more stuff going on. Right? Am I right? That's one thing. He won't prove that. That's not a lie. That's not a lie. If you haven't been buying subscribers, fucking prove it. Prove it. Take Go, go to court and show it. Because we know if you tried to sue me for this and you take this to court, they're going to find out. They're going to fucking find out. So go. Here, here's the thing. Go fuck yourself, Chili. Uh, if, if not, if, if you're not buying subscribers, you need to prove it. You need to come out and prove it. You won't, because you're a liar. You're a fraud. You're a public nuisance. In my opinion, by the way. Just my opinion. But anyways, anyways, so he's filing all these lawsuits. All these lawsuits he's uh, thrown out there. Now, one thing, here's one thing. How is it okay for somebody to get $400 from his community members, spend that $400 on a lawsuit that he has no case in. He says he's a 20-year law scholar. Let's just hang on, hang on. Don't bitch yet. Don't bitch yet. Never wins these cases, but he drains the people of their money. Now, if that's not a fraud, I don't know what is. This guy is a snake oil salesman. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, he says he's a 20-year law scholar. Right, constitutional 20-year law scholar. He doesn't have any credentials. He does not have any classes he's took. He doesn't have licenses. He has nothing to show for it. He actually came out whenever he came to Ironton. He has in his stream where he says he's no smarter than any of us. All the information he's got was from YouTube. Basically destroying the claim that he's a 20-year law scholar. No, well, that's one thing. If if you think that's the case, let's keep on going. A 20-year law scholar, A, would not be hiring a lawyer to defend him against the LAPD. Now, he did that, right? Is it Las Vegas Police Department? I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't care. He actually, he hired a lawyer, but he's a lawyer. He knows more than the lawyers. He's a scholar, 20 years. How's that work? How's that work? Let's, let's, let's go back. All right, let's say... Three years ago, I was a dishwasher at Olive Garden. I was a dishwasher at Olive Garden. Uh, I don't have a college degree. I have no clue about what I'm about to ask you. Okay. 
if I came up to you as a dishwasher, you knew that I used to wash dishes, and I said, hey, I have 20 years experience in heart surgery. I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a constitutional heart surgeon of 20 years. I don't have... I don't have any licenses. I didn't take any training, didn't go to school. But I tell you, hey, I'm a constitutional 20-year heart surgeon. And you come up to me and you said, hey, one of my family members is dying from a severe heart disease. And I look at you and I'm like, hey, sign over power of attorney to me. Sign it over to me. Also, buy this pamphlet. I have a piece of paper here that tells you what to do as a heart surgeon person. I know this. I'm a 20-year constitutional heart surgeon. And on that piece of paper has some kind of bullshit, something that says, hey, don't eat ketchup because ketchup will make your heart hurt. Go ahead and do some GHB instead, and that will make your heart work. I was like, okay, I'll give you some money for that. And I started doing fundraisers. I'm like, hey, I'm going to do a fundraiser for you. I make $400. I can give you $15. But I said, hey, hey, I, I did a fundraiser for you. I'm not giving you any money. I'm going to give you $15 and we'll call it a day. But here's the thing. I will help your, I'll help your family member uh, survive the heart surgery. You're like, okay, okay, well, let's do this. You meet me up. We go into some kind of room with a table, and I do heart surgery. Don't worry. Don't worry, though. I have 20 years experience. I'm a constitutional 20-year heart surgeon. I do the surgery, and I kill your family member. Family member dies. You gave me power of attorney. Anything You gave me permission to do this. Not only have I committed a crime that could face serious jail time, but I lied to you. I lied to you. Now you have a dead family member. But I told you in a pamphlet that I sold you for $25 on the indestructible paper that's actually destructible that, hey, you follow me and you won't die. If you don't follow me, you will die. You will die. You wouldn't allow a somebody that's washing dishes with no experience in heart surgery or medical field do heart surgery on your family member. Why would you let somebody that claims to be a law scholar of 20 years that has an extensive criminal record, he says he doesn't have one, but he does. He does. Just because he wasn't charged with things, he still has it on his record. You wouldn't allow that. You wouldn't want that. You don't want to give somebody power of attorney or to be your lawyer when they don't have any type of experience doing these things. Now let's go even further. Let's go even further. I, uh, I, I, I walk... I, I, okay. He goes and he talks to a black man. So he's actually done this multiple times. What would you do if a white guy walked up to a black man uh, or a black woman and says, hey, you don't talk to me like that. I'm the boss. I'm in charge here. You listen to what I say. You need to think this way because you're black. You can't be a you can't join the law because you're black. You don't know why? Because you're black. I'm the hope. I'm the white knight for black people. I you need me. You need this white guy to protect you black people. But then again, I'm going to look at you and say, I'm the boss. I'm in charge. You're just a black guy. I'm the white guy. I know better. I posted on YouTube. You need this. You, it's already on. He made a fucking short where he's talking down to a black man that happens to be either a public official, a cop, or something like that. Talks down to him like he's the boss. Basically says, I'm in charge now. You know who says that shit? Clan members. Clan members say that. They'll look like they'll look at a black guy and say, "Hey, I'm the boss. I'm in charge." Hitler said that to all the Germans. "I'm the boss. I know better. Follow me." Why would you allow somebody that's a racist, in my opinion, a big fucking racist that got kicked off of TikTok 
for that same thing for being a racist. Somebody that has a criminal history, why would you give him power of attorney? Why would you buy his stupid pamphlet that has nothing that can help you? It won't help you survive. It won't help you do anything. It's just a fucking $25 piece of toilet paper that you can't do shit with. He proved this on streams when he pulled this out. The cops just hands it back to him. The only claim to fame this guy has is when he gets his camera out. I'm going to show you how it works. Let's show you how this works. Okay, Mr. Cop. Mr. Cop, how are you today? Oh, you know what? Go fuck yourself, Mr. Cop. Mr. Cop, you go fuck yourself. I, I have to have my face in... I have to have my face here, right? I have to have my face here. You have to see it. Yes. See what I'm doing, guys? I'm telling this cop off. He's a filthy pig. He's a filthy pig. Don't you don't you don't don't you understand? Filthy pig. Has to have his face on the camera and be like, hey guys, look at me. I'm totally telling this cop off because I'm a fucking Karen. That's fucking cringe. All these frauditors are cringe. It's the cringiest shit on the internet. A bunch of dudes that say they have law experience that says they can help you. These people can't help you. You're not going to let some jack off perform heart surgery that has no experience. Why would you allow some fucking Hollywood dropout or some asshole that thinks they're above the law handle your court cases? Why would you allow that? You're not stupid, people. People, you're not. You're not going to die if you have interaction with a cop. You shouldn't be afraid of the police. You shouldn't be. You know how people become successful as polit politicians? Fear. Fear. You know what Chili's doing? He's selling a pamphlet pay playing on your fears. Saying, hey, you see that stuff in the media? All cops are that way. They all want you to die. Every single last one of them. Every single last one of them. They want you to die. And they don't. They don't. They really don't. Now, you can say, hey, I'm a blue line licker. I don't give a fuck what you call me. I really don't. But if you're stupid enough to allow some fucking jack off with no law degree, with a criminal record that loses every single case he's a part of, who tries to ruin people's lives, families' lives, by filing a $400 lawsuit to drain people of their money, to ruin their lives, because he's butthurt. Why would you allow that? Why? Just, you know I'm true. You know I'm telling the truth. You're not stupid, people. You're not. There's better ways. People are afraid, and when you're afraid, you try to hold on to some kind of hope. You try to find a protector. Like politicians, scam artists, snake oil salesmen. You're not stupid. You're really not. You're good people. You don't deserve to be treated that way. Sure, it looks fun. It's funny to watch somebody say something stupid to a cop. Chili still got arrested. Most of these people get arrested. Most of these people get charges on them. Deborah Rogers, good example. Followed what Chili says. What happens? She's going to jail again. She owes money. She's already been in jail. Now, part of that was her fault because she decided to be pro se or whatever, or taking Chili's advice. But there are victims. There are victims. You can say what you want about Tina Slay. She's a victim. You guys won't listen to her story because this man with red glasses that has a fake, he's completely fake. This is all acting, guys. He knows he's bullshit. He knows it. He knows everything he's telling you is bullshit, but you listen to him and you give him money. The same guy that wished that your children would get bone cancer and die. 
You don't know about that? That happened. The same guy that plays tough guy threatens to fight the cops. And when some cop goes ahead and takes that challenge, guess what happens? He runs away. He goes to California. He says, the doctor said my blood pressure's awful. My knee is broken or whatever the fuck's wrong. Then he goes back and says, oh, I'll fight you. I'm, I'm the master. I'm the most athletic piece of shit on the planet. Guys, you're not stupid. You're not. You're really not. You're being taken advantage of by all of these frauders. You're being taken complete advantage of. It makes me so sick that somebody's playing with your emotions, playing with your mental health, playing with your basically wants of hope. There's better ways. There's better ways. Start questioning, Chili. Start questioning the frauders. Start questioning everybody that says, hey, I know better than you. If you're an African American or a Hispanic or anybody, and somebody comes up tell you tells you, "Hey, listen to me, I'm in charge." You send them off. You send them off. You tell them no. You're racist. You're a fucking fraud. No community needs to be talked down like that. I'm a white guy. I have no place. Of saying I'm a black savior. I'm not. I feel sorry for the black community. I feel sorry for the people. That's really wanting help. I wish I could help you. I really do. If I was a, if I was a lawyer. Of 20 years. I would give you legal advice. But I'm not. I was a dishwasher. At Olive Garden. I wasn't a heart surgeon. I can't give you medical advice. I know stuff about mental health, but I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a counselor, so I can't give you medical advice. All I can give you is what I know from experience. Something I do have proof of. I can show you. I have tangible proof that you can see. Chile and his fraudsters do not ask these people Where'd you get your education from? How do you know so much? Prove it. Show me cases that you won. Show me cases that you won. Just show your face on camera yelling at a cop because you got to get your face in there because you think you're God's gift to whatever. It's not helping. You're following a false prophet. That's all you're following. You should question everything. Everything. You should not be taken advantage of. You shouldn't. Now, you could still disagree from, with me. And that's what Chili's going to try to do. He'll turn it around and be like, no, I'm the leader. I'm the alpha male. You need to follow me. I know better. Prove it. Prove that you know better. Show us cases that you won. Show us the money. Show us the money. Show us the receipts that you're not buying subscribers. Show us. Show us your criminal record that doesn't exist. Something that's easily able to be pulled up. Public records is a thing, you know. You can pull shit up. You can pull shit up. Now, you can go in court and say, hey, I was not charged, so therefore I have nothing against me. You do, motherfucker. You do. It's been proven in court, on camera, on stream. People have seen it. People, you shouldn't for, shouldn't forgive somebody that's trying to take your money, take advantage of you. You shouldn't be paying for something that's worthless. You have money to spend on other things, like tattoos, beer, I don't know, a fucking book. Not a pamphlet full of bullshit that's not going to help you. Don't give money to this motherfucker. Don't give money to these frauditors. You're better than that. You are better than that. You really are. 
I'm pleading to you. I am wanting you to look deep inside today. And I want you to ask yourself, would you allow somebody that has no experience whatsoever try to perform heart surgery on my family member that I love dearly? Then ask yourself, when you, the answer is ultimately no, why would you allow somebody to take your legal actions and you, says, I know better, I can win. It's going to cost you so much money. It's going to put you in jail. Why would you do that? Why would you fucking do that? You're you're not stupid. You're really not. I hope you're not that stupid. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Give me a chance. Give me a chance here. You know I'm right. This is my opinion, though. I can't prove this shit.